Good morning, friends. It's Bob Branch bringing you another edition of the Daily Devo. Thanks so much for tuning in this morning. I want to embark us on a continuance, but a, a little bit of a different direction than what we have been talking about when we started this idea that God, we are God's co-workers. That's 2 Corinthians 6, 1. That Paul looks at this idea that we're God's ambassadors, that we're God's co-workers working together with God. Now, as I have been thinking about those things, and as you know, as I've been teaching here in John 5, 19, Jesus says, I don't do anything except for what I see the Father doing, that this is how Jesus is working that out. And then in Ephesians chapter 2, verse 10, you know, we're God's workmanship, we're his masterpiece created in Christ Jesus to do good works that God prepared in advance for us to do. So God is preparing, God is inviting us to come in to work already in progress and that you and I are co-workers with God every single day. Coronavirus pandemic or no pandemic, uh, racial tensions or no racial tensions, God is always working and he is always enlisting us in the work. He's always calling us to join in the work and he is still doing that. And I want to actually start looking at this in a, in a bit more of a missional sort of a way. And what I mean by that is that I believe that God will use you powerfully during this time in the lives of others by looking for what God is doing and stepping in. But I want to add one more feature to that, and that is that typically God is going to move you and I around as chess pieces, and he's going to utilize how he has made us from, from the foundation of time, the things that he's put into us, the gifts that he's given us, the anointings and the experiences that we've had, the ways that these things have shaped us. He's going to use us in the lives of others, both inside the church and outside the church. So with all of that said, I have been in 2 Timothy uh, chapter, I mean, 2 Timothy, 1 Timothy, and then 2 Timothy, and these are what's called the pastoral epistles. And the Apostle Paul is speaking to his spiritual son, Timothy, who he has sent to Ephesus on, on his behalf to basically pastor that church and to corral a whole bunch of false teaching that's going on and just stuff that's gotten out of order. And so both of these books are, both of these letters are actually aimed at very specific things in the in the context of Ephesus at that point in time, as you've, again, as you've heard me say. Well, with all of that said, Paul says in both letters something to Timothy that I think are very powerful. And these things have actually caused me to have to do some serious reflection myself. And he says this in 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 6. He says, I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God, which is in you through the laying on of hands, or the uh, laying on of my hands, the Apostle Paul says. For God has not given us a spirit that makes us timid, but gives us power and love and self-discipline. So the Apostle says to this young man who is doing this pastoral work that's really over his head. He said that God has actually given you some things and he's wired you in some ways that if you're paying attention, you will be deploying these gifts that God has given you. Well, as I thought about this, I had to kind of go back and think, and because he, in, in the previous letter, 1 Timothy, Paul says, Tim, don't neglect your gift. Don't neglect the gift that was given to you. And I think it's interesting because I had to kind of go back through and write down the gifts that I believe that the Lord has allowed me to operate in and that I don't know if I would say that they're mine, but they're things that I have moved in with some fluency for a long period of time, some for seasons, for long seasons, others for my entire Christian life, others, you know, for extended periods of time and different things like that. But I, I had to go back and reflect on what gifts have you put on me, Lord? What gifts have you given me? Now, that's the first thing I want to ask you as we embark on this discussion is God has put things in you. He has given you gifts that are supernatural endowments. They're not just special abilities that you have, although the spiritual gifts that God gives you are gifts that you need to cultivate and learn how and mature in your effective use and, and deploying of those gifts for the sake of others. But 
in that, what gifts has God put on you? Now, I think that one of the gifts that I move in all the time is the gift of teaching. And I, I love teaching. It's kind of how I'm wired. But the Lord speaks to me and I communicate, I think, decently well in this whole thing. But I move in this gift of teaching. But I also move in a gift of prophecy, but not in a big meeting sort of a prophecy sort of way. Actually, as I said, Holy Spirit, what have I, you know, what gifts have you given me? And the first thing, boom, that the Holy Spirit says is prophecy. And I'm like, wait, 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 wait a minute. Well, I guess that prophecy comes in a lot of different packages. And so as a result of that, I had to kind of think, well, I routinely am giving a talk in conversation with people and I give them words from God. Those are prophecies. I pray for people and the Lord gives me impressions and words and visions and different things like that. And I deliver those things. Again, those are prophecy. Prophecy isn't, you know, with blood vessels pumping out of your neck. Thus saith the Lord. And, you know, having to do that prophecy, if you look at biblical prophecy from start to finish in the Bible, it's all kinds of different. There's all kinds of different ways that God speaks. And so the Lord said that. And I'm like, OK, fair, fair enough. I've operated in the gift of healing a lot and, and healing faith for a lot of my Christian life and still do. I, t I still tend to, I pray for people and then they, they get back to me weeks later and say, oh yeah, by the way, um, after you prayed for me, um, I got well and like really fast or like instantaneously or something like that. It's like, well, that's good. You know, two enthusiastic thumbs up. All, and then I, I probably got five or six, I, I speak in tongues all the time uh, in, in, a, in a prayer sense with the Lord and, uh, and so there's a, there's a whole bunch of gifts that I've operated in. I want to ask you, because God is generous, and I don't believe that the Lord is just gives one gift, but I do think that typically there's one or two or three things that we tend to operate more in and more fluent in, but that the Lord wants to use all of us. And so I want to start a conversation. I will start talking with you in these next days and weeks to come about what the spiritual gifts look like. But if we are going to be God's co-workers, working alongside of God, if we're going to be God's ambassadors and God is going to show us what he's doing, likely many times we're going to serve the Lord. We're going to love people well through the gifts and the way that God has built us. And he's done a beautiful job in this. So today I spoke with Mark Lundgren and about this idea because Paul talks about Timothy being having hands laid on him and him being set apart for ministry and there being gifts that he's received in that particular transaction. In the book of Acts, you see also that when the apostles or when the people in authority lay their hands on different people, that the Holy Spirit does something and we'll just call it transactive. That is that something is imparted in that and that God loves doing things that way because God, he just loves being able to impart things through people because it connects us to each other. He gets the glory. None of us get the glory. We have this treasure, remember, in jars of clay so that the transcendent power we know is not from us. It's from God. So with all of that said, I want to ask you to begin to think and reflect. What gifts, spiritual gifts that the New Testament has actually talked about in, let's just say, Romans uh, what, Romans 12, uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12, um, and those two particular places, Ephesians 4 as well. Um, what gifts is God, has God actually released in you? And are you neglecting those gifts? Do you need to fan and to flame those gifts? That's where I want to, to, to stop today. We'll talk some more about that tomorrow. But thanks so much for tuning in. I believe that God has something beautiful and powerful. And the reason why I talk with Mark is because I asked Mark, would you be willing to actually take a team of people and just go lay hands on other people and, and see if you can stir up the spiritual gifts in them? It doesn't mean that you're anointing them for to pastor a church or to become an elder or any of those different things. But still, there's impartation when we lay our hands on people and stir up the gifts of the Spirit. And Mark said, I'm completely game for that. And so we'll be heading in that. You'll be hearing some more about that as we go. But I wanted to start the discussion right now. I'm so grateful that you tuned in. I believe that God is going to use all of us powerfully in the midst of this pandemic, in the midst of our quarantining, in the midst of all of this, that the Lord is going to use us powerfully if we're paying attention and see ourselves as players in his game, which you are. I love you. I'm praying for you. I'm walking in, in this and through this with you. Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll talk tomorrow.